A blessing and a wonderful good evening to one and all. It's indeed an honor and a privilege that we can be together again here online for James Ford Ministries International. Hallelujah. We have been away for a while, but we are here together again to hear what God would say to us today. Hallelujah. Today will be a very short video. I will just say what the Lord has laid upon my heart. A reminder of something we already know. And a reminder if you don't know, well now you will know. That what God would have us to hear on today. So I just welcome each and every one of you and let us pray as we get swiftly into the word. And the swifter we get into the word, we will be out of here quicker. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this time that we can come together, Lord. You have preserved us. You have kept us, God, and we are grateful unto you. Lord, you are worthy to be praised, God. Lord, even before you have done anything for us, just because you are God, you are worthy to be praised. Father God, as we come to your as we've come to hear your word today, Father God, I pray that you will wash us and cleanse us, God, from all our righteousness. God, let there be no hindrance, God, to your word coming into our spirit and taking root and producing fruit in its season. Father God, today in the name of Jesus, bless these lips of clay, God, that I will speak thus saith the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. And all God's people say, Amen and Amen. Today, let's look to the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and we're going to read verse 37 to 39, a very familiar passage of uh, Scripture. And it says, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Hallelujah. And as you will see from the flyer, I want to speak to you for the next seven minutes on the theme, Back to the Days Before the Flood. Back to the Days Before the Flood. There is a lot of truth in the cliche that the more things change, the more things stay the same. And as we look around, people may create all sorts of new things. And what people will say, society has evolved. But at the end of the day, we see that all things have still stayed the same. The principle and the bottom line has still stayed the same. As such as the world is changing and the world is changing and as the saying says it's still yet remaining the same we are going back to the days before the flood we are going back to the days before the flood but take this counsel this evening in the same way that the world is changing and uh, but yet remaining the same the church's mission is still still remains the same our methods and our ways of fulfilling the church's mission may have changed but the, the mission remains the same as Noah warned the people of impending danger God's judgment on the earth before the flood we see we we just as he did we the church need to continue to warn of the judgment we need to continue to warn that jesus christ is coming again and he's coming for a prepared people and oftentimes we read this part of matthew 24 and only think of this concerning the fact that they did not know up until the time of the flood and that they were destroyed 
in the flood but wrapped up in this text is so much more it provides a picture not only of how it will be at the exact end at the exact time that Christ comes back that exact second when almost when when we can almost see the sight of the people as no as it reports on no we can almost see the sight of the people being caught off guard it is not just about that but it moreover gives us insight into how life will be like in the days before his return and may I submit to you this evening that we are living in those days. We are living in those days right now. We say that people have no regard for God and we are correct. We say that the world has no regard for God and we are correct. We call this a corrupt and perverse generation and we are correct because this is just how the people were before the flood came. They had no regard for God. They were completely wicked and we are going back to the days before the flood. But this is not only a message to condemn the world are to condemn this generation but just as Noah did it is a message to encourage us mighty God to call those out there who are going towards impending danger that we need to call them back mighty God into the ark of safety we need to call them back into the ark of safety Jesus was about to go back. Jesus was a, his earthly ministry was about to end and he was telling them of his return, the disciples of his return. And they wanted to know when, they wanted to know where, how this would happen. But Jesus instead gave them just the signs of the end. And we are seeing those signs. But I would like, as I have just focused on what Jesus said the people would be like. They were doing as they like. They had no regard for God. They did what they pleased. They did what made them happy. Today what is right is what makes me happy. So what is right to me may not be right to you. And what is right to you may be wrong to me. But once it is right to you, it is once it makes you feel good, it is okay. And that is the society that we are moving towards. But it says in 2 Peter 2 and 5 that Noah was a preacher of righteousness. And we are still to raise up the standards of righteousness righteousness and holiness the people of the world are living as they please but we the church we need to be committed as Noah did Noah was committed for 120 years as he warned the people we may never have to do it because we don't live that long we may never have to do it as an individual for 120 years but as long as, but as the church like Noah did up until the flood we the church must warn up until the return of Christ we need to warn the people just as we see that the generation and the world is going down a rabbit hole as we see that they're growing more and more evil we are not just to call to condemn them but we are to warn them of the impending danger that is coming we must not just write them off as a godless society we must not just walk write them off as a lost cause but it is our duty as Noah did to warn the people warn the people of Jesus's judgment and invite them to come hallelujah into the ark of safety which is salvation today we are going back to the days of Noah and I'm closing here we are going back to the days of Noah we are going back to the days of Noah and if we don't warn the people and win souls for Christ Mighty God, just 
as the people did who ignored the instruction the world will be lost the world will be lost but we need as the church of Jesus Christ to warn the people we are going back to the days before Noah people have no regard because if we don't go out there and spread the gospel and and as no with Noah is the perfect example we won't win uh, Noah in the end didn't win any but we the church of God by the help and the conviction of the Holy Spirit we must go out and witness because we are going back to those days right before the return of Christ we must go out and witness and I'm telling you this time we will win souls for Christ daily there are people being added to the church it is witness people are daily being added to the church we need to come together we need to go and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ because we are going back to the days before the flood but hallelujah but after those days comes the flood there comes that destruction we need to continue to warn the people. God bless you this evening. We need, we are going back to the days of flood. We need to continue to warn the people. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for everything that we have heard. Though short, God, I pray that your word would have resonated with someone's heart today. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that we would take up seriously understanding that we are going back to the days of flood and understanding before the flood understanding the days and times that we are living in help us like Noah to be preachers of righteousness that many may come in to the ark of salvation in Jesus name amen and amen God bless you today in Jesus name as you would have sat and heard the word though short I pray that the word of God would have touched your heart and empowered you to go out there understanding the times that we are living in go out and witness for him in Jesus name God bless you see you next week hallelujah as we would share the word of God with you again amen